after an ammonia leak at a co-op in Aurelia forced the evacuation of that small town this morning. Things are slowly returning to normal tonight. Good work by emergency responders and some good fortune from Mother Nature has everyone headed back to their homes. KCAU 9's Jacob Russo has been on scene throughout the day. He joins us live tonight with our top story. Tim and Jenna, the winds have changed here in Aurelia. It has pushed the ammonia out of town and out of danger as crews continue to work on capping that leaky tank. Much of the ammonia is being moved from that tank into smaller tanks and then being moved away from the co-op. The tank started at around 80% capacity this morning, but now it's down to around 15%. The reduction in gas plus the winds changing directions means residents can start coming back. Uh, the decision's been made. Um, we are going to be opening the city of Aurelia uh, for residents to come back. Um, again, that's as of 5 o'clock. Um, all residents will be back, uh, allowed back into town. The crews did hit a snag when the pump used to remove the ammonia broke, but they should be up and running again soon. And while that leak isn't isn't patched up yet, the residents of Aurelia can sleep soundly knowing that they're safe from danger. Live in Aurelia, Jacob Russo, KCAU 9 News. Good news there, and here's why. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention have many warnings about ammonia exposure. The colorless gas has a pungent smell. It can cause a range of symptoms from irritated eyes, nose, and throat to wheezing and trouble breathing. For more things to look out for, we have that information online at SiouxLandProud.com. Even before folks in Aurelia knew what was happening, they knew something wasn't right this morning. KCAU 9's Rebecca Pryor joins us now with some of their stories. Rebecca? Tim and Jenna, the Aurelia community members are finally being able to come back into town. However, one local is telling me she wasn't able to evacuate soon enough. Aurelia Alana Disson telling me she was alerted by fire trucks announcing the evacuation from the streets. But before she even knew there was a gas leak, she was suffering symptoms from breathing in the ammonia gas. She described to me what that was like. I began to cough. And it's that dry cough, that cough where there's inflammation in your lungs. And I continuously was coughing and coughing to the point where it was difficult for me to even get to the car. And I had pain up here, up underneath my ribs every time I was, you know, trying to breathe and stuff. Disson says although her own health was being compromised, it was her daughter's safety that was first on her mind. After immediately evacuating, Disson says she feels better, but is still feeling some discomfort in her throat and her lungs. Disson is just one of hundreds that evacuated here earlier today. Again, people are were happy to report that they're allowed to come back, although I am on Main Street and it's still looking like a bit of a ghost town. I have more coming up at 10 on how residents have been affected by this gas leak. Reporting live, Rebecca Pryor, KCU 9 News.